One evening, after a slow day, I was sitting alone at Salieri's and just drinking. Luigi came over to me and asked me if I wouldn't do him a favor. Hey, Tommy. You know my daughter, right? Yeah, Luigi. Nice girl. You must be proud. Thanks, Tommy. She sometimes helps out here behind the bar. Thing is, I don't want her to walk home alone tonight. Only yesterday some stupid punks gave us some problems. You know, with all that dirty talk and all that. You know, I am worried about the girl. So I thought that maybe you could see her home. It's not far away. You're a gentleman and you have a lot of respect in this neighborhood. Those punks wouldn't try anything with you around. No problem, Luigi. It'll be a walk in the park. Oh, Tom, you cannot imagine how grateful I am. Damn, I was worried. No one knows who these guys are. Come in for lunch tomorrow and I'll do something special. Sarah, come over here. Sarah, this is Tommy. He'll take you home and make sure those punks don't bother you anymore. Hello. Hello, thanks a lot. It won't take you long. I don't live very far from here. Let me get my coat and then we can go. Okay, I'll wait for you outside. It's really nice of you to be doing this. Those clowns were really strange. I was really nervous. No problem. Polly and I'll deal with those troublemakers later. So you also work for Mr. Salieri, don't you? He's a nice man. He's always a lot of fun. Yeah, I work for him sometimes. But we usually ain't laughing and having fun. So what do you actually do? Hmm. I usually just chauffeur the Don around, even though he occasionally surprises me, like when he wanted me to drive in the race. Yeah, I saw that. You drove really well. Uh, I was just real lucky. You're so modest. It had to be more than luck to beat those guys. Well, I used to drive a taxi, and the only real racing I've ever done was the night before. There you go. You see, you got talent. Mm, you might be right. Anyway, it wasn't too pretty. I don't like being in the spotlight. Hey, looky here. Who's the cute pair? There they are. What's up? You were alone last night, darling, and tonight you have a boyfriend. Boys, I think it would be better if you just go away and not make any problems. I think the only one here with a problem is you, Chief. If I were in your shoes, I'd leave right now. You never know what might happen. We'll see, lover boy. I'll kill you. Come over here. He's here. Here he is. Come here. We have a problem. Everybody here. Quick. Come here. I've got Nice dress, sweetie. Don't you want to take a real... Oh, thank you. 
If you hadn't been there, I don't know what would have happened. That's okay, Sarah. Anytime. I was really scared, Tom. Are you okay? Come on, we're almost home. I'll take a look at you there. We're all gonna die! Ah! We're all gonna die! Ah! We're all gonna die! Ah! We're all die! <laughs> We're all gonna die! Ah! We're all gonna die! I live alone right next door to Pop. My mother left us not long after I was born. So, you work with Paulie too? He's really funny. Yeah, yeah, he's real funny. I always say that he could have been an actor. Sometimes he acts real strange. It's really creepy. I don't know how a person can change mood so suddenly. He must have been through a lot in his life. Yeah, he's been around the block a few times. He grew up on the streets and everything rubbed off on him. Maybe that's why he behaves kind of rough to strangers. He's real grateful to Don Salieri. Who knows what would have happened if he hadn't taken him under his wing. Yeah, Mr. Salieri even helped out my dad a lot. He's almost like a grandfather to me. Yeah, Don Salieri's a good guy. Okay, here we are. Come inside. So, this is my kingdom. Come in and take a load off. I'll have a look at your wounds. This is quite a kingdom. Roll up your sleeves, sir. Help is at hand. Well, let's have a look. Hmm. Doesn't look too serious. Yeah, yeah, that's true. They looked a lot worse than they are. Hmm. Hold on a second. I'll clean it. There you go. It didn't even hurt. Thank you. It's me who should be thanking you. Would you care for a drink, Tom? Well, I could use a little whiskey, if you got it. Sure thing. This evening's getting interesting. Here you go, hero. So, do you swing? What? Do you like dancing, music? I have a gramophone. Yeah, I like music. Are Salieri's men tough with everyone? Well, we try to be gentle with people sometimes. Some of you, maybe but only a few. And are you one of Salieri's tough guys? Only sometimes. Well, I think you're a very good bad man. Oh, sometimes I'm even a very bad good man.
Sarah was an angel. I had a lot of girls before that, but that was something different. Very different. It was clear to me that if I was going to spend the rest of my life with someone, it would be with her. The very next day, I told Salieri what happened with the punks. The gang of hoodlums had set up residence in his territory, causing trouble and scaring good people. Don Salieri was not pleased. What? In my territory? The nerve. And on top of that, they attacked defenseless women. Did anything happen to Sarah, Tommy? No, boss. She's okay. I took care of it. Good. Why the hell didn't Luigi say something? We could have taken care of this immediately. I won't stand for those chicken shits attacking people in my territory. Who do they think they are? They pay me for protection, and so we've got to get these punks and put them where they belong. Me and Tom will fix it. Do those bastards think this is freaking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Paulie, Paulie, take it easy. Nobody's killing anybody, get it? I want you to teach them a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies and leave them laying in a pool of their own blood. Make sure those bastards need wheelchairs. Little kids will laugh at their busted faces. Let everybody see what happens when somebody trashes my territory. Sounds interesting, boss. That ain't a bad idea at all. We'll need to find out where they're located. Big Biff might know something. He's always standing around in Chinatown. Go find him and ask him. No problem, boss. Salute, the boys. So, what'll it be today? You gotta give a few clowns a good beating, Vinny. The best bet will be these superb bats. This one here is autographed by one of the MVPs of the league. Wow, I can't believe it. Is this really his? Well, to tell you the truth, it ain't. But if you're smashing someone in the face with it, they certainly won't question you. We'll need some heaters, too. You never know. My words exactly. I've got these Colt 1911s. Great automatics. Thanks, Vinny. Partners, how's tricks? Hey there, you fat bastard. We need a little piece of information. What's going on? A gang of jokers have set themselves up in our territory, and they're giving people a bad time. They mess with Luigi's daughter, and if it wasn't for Tom here, who knows what they would have done to him. We need to know where they meet, so we can deliver them a message from Don Salieri. You came to the right place, Paulie. I know what's going on. A few people have already had problems with them, and they told me meet at the old service station near the Terranova Bridge. It's a little ways from here. You can get there through a sort of side door across the yard. Send them my regards, Paulie. Thanks, Biff. I owe you one. We gotta go. Sure. Take it easy, boys.
I think this is the place. Let's do it. And remember, Tom, no shooting. Hey, pal. Don Salieri sends his regards. Go ahead. I'd really love to hear it. Everybody here, now! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Those bastards. The cops didn't lift a finger because one of those punks is supposed to be the son of someone down at City Hall. Somebody stopped in for a shooting. Ah, those bastards are heated. Get the baseball bats. What are you trying to pull here? I'm trying to kick your ass out of this part of town. These guys are mafia, Johnny. Let's hit the road. Oh, shit. Quick, get to the car. We gotta get him.
Go and nail him! You can't feel sorry for these animals. He'd shoot you in the back the first opportunity he gets. I thought about what my mother or Sarah would do if they saw me there. This one's finished. One less to worry about. Why are you standing there with that look on your face? Remember? Those guys wanted to do your girl yesterday. You better get used to it. I got used to it. <laughs>